Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and in this week's bonus video, we're gonna make a project from a really old woodworking book. As some of you know, I collect these old woodworking books. I get them from antique stores and thrift stores, and in this one, the original copyright is 1959. The copyright of this particular edition is 1978. You can tell it was an old library book. People have signed it out here. It is called Bench Woodwork Revised. I love the book. This book has awesome illustrations. And last night as I was going through the book, there is this ridiculously useless tie rack project in here. Like I own one, maybe two ties, so I have no use for this project. But as some of you may know, I am a wiener dog lover. This is my wiener dog weens. And so today we are going to make this wiener dog tie rack right from the plans from this book. So I have this piece of three quarter inch red oak from the home center. I've had this for a while now. I don't know what to do with it because it's slightly cupped and so it's not going to be any good for any furniture projects, but it'll be perfect for this tie rack. So let's get going. Okay, so they are using half inch square grid here for the template. So what we're going to do is draw the same grid on my board here. I'm going to use the grid pattern from the book and try to transfer that to here. So I will count down one, two, three, four. At the bottom of this fourth grid here, I can start the nose. One, two, three, four. And I know the nose is going to start right here. I'm gonna flip the book around this way so I can see what's going on. And so I'll just start drawing out my wiener dog here. Okay, we're over here on the bandsaw. Time to cut this puppy out. Cut this puppy out. So now we're gonna file down the rough edges made by the bandsaw here on my workbench with a file. So it looks like in the example photo here that there is a little bit of wood carved away to create kind of a shadow line around the ears and the thigh. And so let's take care of that. Gotta have a real sharp chisel for this. Cool. So now it is time to draw the dog bone portion of this. This is the part of the tie rack that will actually hold the ties and connect to the wiener dog feet. Now I'm just going to draw it on this board here. That'll work. Looks a little, a little cartoonish. 
They call that a dog bone on there? That doesn't look anything like a bone. Hopefully ours will look better than that. All right, so now that we got the bone cut out, we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the wiener dog. We're gonna sand this down, we're gonna file away the bandsaw marks, and we're going to carve little grooves in here with the chisels once again. So I got the dog all cut and sanded, got the bone cut and sanded. Um, I'm not real happy with the way my bone looks. I think it looks better than the one in the picture, but mine still looks like uh, male anatomy. All right, so the next thing we need to do is attach the bone to the dog feet, and I'm gonna use a couple of dowels to do this. All right, so I got a 5 16 inch dowel and a 5 16 inch drill bit, and we're just going to drill right into the dog feet. I'm not drilling all the way through. So now what I'll do is I'll cut off a couple pieces from this dowel and glue them into the dog feet. Obviously that's a lot longer than what I need, but I'll trim it down to length. All right, so now that those are in there, I'm going to use this piece of scrap as a guide for my saw here. Just chop them off. Now for the dog bone. Let's see, which way do I want it to go? This way or this way? Kind of like this better. So I'm going to flip this over. Oh, I got a text. Who's texting me? Jimmy Deresta. He says good. Had to set a new time for the podcast. All right, so there. I'm just gonna draw. Where the dowels are going to go into. Looks good. So now we're going to drill in here, but I don't wanna to drill too far. So I'm gonna put a piece of masking tape on my drill bit to let me know how far down to drill. Just create that little flag right there. Drill away. The flag also creates a little windstorm down here and blows away the chips. Get in there. Get in there. Don't you know your home? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. So I just sprayed a couple coats of spray lacquer on there. It dries real quick. It's a really easy finish. Since I only own two ties, I can't really demonstrate this wiener dog tie rack properly. So while that is drying, let's go shopping for some new ties. Let's go. All right, so now we're just gonna throw some hanging hardware on here and a couple of bumpers. Well, there it is, the wiener dog tie rack. Will I use this? No, I don't think so. So I'm gonna give this away to one of my Patreon members. If you wanna find out more about my Patreon, visit patreon.com slash to find out how you can help support this show. Over on Patreon, most weeks we give something away. They also get the extended vlogs most weeks. It's ridiculous. I 
I don't know what else to say about it. It was fun. I've never done the carving like that. Uh, I really love this, this old book. So I, in the future, I might do a few more projects like this. If you're not already subscribed, please do so because we put out new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. Sometimes they're fun little projects like this. Sometimes they're tips. Sometimes they're big projects. You never know what we're going to do. So please subscribe. I'm also very active on Instagram. My Instagram followers already knew I was making this because they got some behind the scenes photos. So check that out, instagram.com slash make something TV. It was a fun project. I will see you guys Thursday. As always, be safe, be passionate, and make something. We are here at Kencraft Hardwoods and I am looking through some half inch boards to make a pizza peel. And what I think I found is I'm going to do a centerpiece of mahogany and then have hickory on both sides. So let's head back to the shop and make this pizza peel. I'm going to cut two 